Hello viewers, welcome again to our today session. The topic of discussion is prophets. Good prophets, yes prophets. We get to look at who is a prophet, right? And specifically, we get deeper to prophet Amos. Very common in the Bible, prophet Amos. Very common with these uh, visions, right? Now, we get to look at the call of prophet Amos. This is a new topic of prophets. Can you now get to, to get to bear uh, attention and get to take short notes where applicable? Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We'll be able to discuss the background and call of Prophet Amos. The background call of Amos and also his call. How was he called? Good. Now, if you want to understand the background call of Amos, you must have to read Amos 1, chapter 1, verse 1, Amos chapter 3, verse 8, and also Amos chapter 7, verse 10 to 15. Now, Prophet Amos was born in a village called Tekoa in Judah, the southern kingdom. Remember, Israel had two kingdoms, right? The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, right? Judah and Israel. Good. Now, can I get to look at where Tekoa is? Good. You can get to see, trace our, trace, using our map, can you, can you get to trace that? We can see uh, Bethlehem. We can see Bethlehem. We can see Netopha. You can see Etam. Good. We can see Tekoa. The one that is in red. Eh? The one, the red, the red circle is what we call Tekoa. That is the back, that is meaning he came from where? Tekoa, good? In the southern kingdom, Judah. What was his profession? Right? Before his call, Amos was a shepherd. Before his call, Amos was a shepherd. Look at that. With sheep. Right? With sheep. Look at them. Very many of them. And that is Amos leading the sheep. And, and look at that, the sheep, the sheep are very obedient, huh? they're not like the goats, very obedient, good, that is, that is Amos, he was a shepherd, now, and also, he was a dresser of the sycamore trees, he was a dresser of the sycamore trees, look at that, he was a dresser of sycamore trees, you know what a sycamore tree is, good, he was a dresser now, he could dress those sycamore trees, Sycamore trees. Good. That is that is that is Amos, a dresser of the sycamore trees. Now God directed him to give his message to the people of Israel, the northern kingdom. Right? Remember, he came from the Judah, which was the southern kingdom. God sent him to give his message to the people of the northern kingdom, which was Israel. He was asked to speak the will of Yahweh. Right? Now, Israelites worshipped Yahweh and other God, meaning there was syncretism. That is the practice of worshipping Yahweh alongside other gods. That is syncretism. The practice of worshipping God beside, uh, alongside other, other, other idols or other gods. Now, there was religious hypocrisy. Yes. Right? The priests were paid for religious work. However, whoever does not pay, does not receive, receive religious, 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 uh, religious uh, uh, blessings or, or religious uh, works. Right? Now, these, those who could not pay did not have religious ceremonies. They were offered at the expense of the poor. How do you think those who, are, who don't have money, meaning they did not get the, the, the religious services, the religious ceremonies, and also the prophets of God were rejected. That was the situation in Israel. Talk of syncretism, talk of religious hypocrisy, right? Whereby uh, religious leaders were paid to perform their religious duties. If you didn't have money, you could not receive religious ceremonies. Good. You could not get a priest in your home to bless you, to bless uh, uh, your, your livestock. Look at syncretism. Good. That's the altar. And we all know the altar is where God dwells. 
Now in the altar, they still have God had idols. You can see that. Look at that. Look at that. Good. Hope you can see that. Right? Right? Now when Amos prophesied, King Jeroboam ruled Israel, the northern kingdom, and King Uzziah ruled the southern kingdom, which was Judah. Now Amos was sent to prophesy to the people of Israel in the northern kingdom. He concentrated his work mainly in Bethel and Samaria, the capital city of Israel, and the main centers of worship. Class, for our task, can we get to step where Prophet Amos was called to prophesy? Where was he called to prophesy? For reference, get to refer to our reference material that is on your screen. And as always, the station you're watching is LMU TV, your favorite learning channel, where we all get to watch and learn. Class, get in touch with us via contact address, our SMS line, our YouTube, our YouTube uh, page, our Facebook page, and also our Twitter handle. Thank you all for watching our class, and stay in touch, LMU TV, your favorite learning channel.